This is the habanero plant that I'm growing this year. It's called um, Pepper Caribbean Red Habaneros. And I got them from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, so rareseeds.com. And actually there's another kind that I wanted, but they were out of it. So I just want to show you that this is um, the rareseeds.com um, catalog which is very nice. If you don't have it, you should get one for sure. And this is the one I wanted. Can you see the big picture? It's called Lightning Mix. And by the time I ordered, it would, they were out of it. But you know, I thought it would be nice to have all these multicolor um, habanero. But anyway, I think these will look cool too. So this is the habanero plant that I'm growing. And I'm gonna go over and show you the plant. Yeah, this is my habanero pepper plant. And as you can see, if the, this is my pinky, my hand is small, but you could tell that um, it's really, really small. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe this is what habanero plant is supposed to look like, but I saw um, the other day I went to the nursery and saw some of their starter plants and their habanero plant looked a lot bigger. So I'm having a little bit of seedling empty, but um, we'll see. I'll just be patient and see what it does. And make sure there's no aphids on this little baby. Yep. Here is my beautiful habanero plant that was itty bitty maybe about a month ago when I taped it last time. And it's really taken off, I think, the heat and the rain and just I guess time has really done wonders for it's the about plant. It's a foot tall and it has a whole bunch of flowers. I don't know if you can flower buds. Here's my second habanero plant. It's the same as my other one. It's just in a very small container. It's probably maybe a one gallon or maybe two gallon but it definitely only has one gallon of soil. I will be moving this to a three gallon container, but uh, it's actually doing quite well. It's small, you know, it's proportional to the size of the container, but definitely I've been getting there's little flower buds. So I think once I transfer it to a bigger container, it'll do a lot better. The habanero plant was very quick to start forming fruit. And you can see the little baby habaneros are kind of everywhere. It's very exciting. It seems that spicy peppers are very prolific. And if you have a garden in the balcony that gets very hot like I do, hot peppers is a very satisfying plant to have. Very cool. So I have a lot of baby habanero here and there's a ton of flowers on this plant. So I'll probably be getting a lot of peppers. Check out these habanero peppers. They are so pretty. They're shiny. They're perfectly formed. They're still green. They're supposed to turn red and they probably will eventually but absolutely gorgeous. The flowers of these habanero are purple on the inside, which is really pretty. Let's see if I can find one for you. Here's the close-up of the habanero plant flower. I just think it's just very pretty. 